Genotype is not a game that I thought I would ever be interested in, let alone play, let alone want to play again. Who thought a game about Mendelian genetics would be so interesting? Well, let me tell you why here today on Legendary Tactics. Genotype by Genius Games is, as I mentioned before, about the principles of biological inheritance proposed by Gregor Mendel, a friar, back in the mid-1800s. He discovered these by performing hybridization experiments on pea plants. So how does this become a game? Well, it did become a game, and quite a good one in fact. Science nerds with backgrounds in genetics will find lots to love here, from the Punnett squares to the recessive genes to the validation of traits. But don't worry, you don't need the background in any of that to enjoy the game. And in fact, you can even win the game while being blissfully unaware of the science, as I am. Genotype is essentially a worker placement game, and a solid example of that genre. Players receive garden trowels representing actions that can be taken. These can be anything from getting cash, doing research at the university, gardening, grabbing tools or seeds, altering the parent plants to alter how the die rolls will turn out, or just reserving your pick of the crop. Points are scored based on completing or validating pea plants, with bonuses provided by research goals that you have set through the game, and things like cash on hand. If you've played a worker placement game in your life, you're already halfway to understanding how this game works. But there are some nice twists that are provided by the nature of this game, if you forgive the pun. First of all, after the workers have been placed, or garden trowels in this case, dice are rolled and then drafted by the players to fulfill or validate the traits of the pea plants that they have in their gardens. Basically, players are taking dice that provide the exact desired trait by drawing them from the available pool, with some wildcard mutations thrown in to give players some flexibility. And in advance of that, you can alter the odds to get the die that you want by changing the Punnett square box in order to get more dominant or recessive traits. It's a simple and unique mechanic that works quite well as there is some jockeying for position on the various grids and this can have a big effect on your strategy. Once you've placed all the trowels and drafted your dice, money can be spent on different research upgrades that can improve your abilities and expand your experimental capacity in subsequent rounds. For example, one can buy more plots in which to plant pea plants, one can buy extra slots for dice, there are action trowels available for purchase, or one can hire an assistant to make life easier. After this, the board state is updated and refreshed and we begin again until five rounds are complete. When you hear it broken down that way, it doesn't sound bad, does it? In fact, it plays very smoothly and intuitively, and while I don't think it provides much of an education on the science behind the game, it does give you at least a basic introduction to genetics and how they work. One issue that has been raised is that the game is not as good at lower player counts. The competition in the dice drafting phase is not as intense with, say, two players, where each player can generally get the dice they need to validate their traits, and I would agree with that assessment. It doesn't detract from the enjoyment of the game per se, but it definitely feels like a tighter design with more players. Overall, this game was a pleasant surprise. I really didn't know what I was in for, but I found that the mechanics felt comfortable for everyone after a couple of turns, and by the second game we were playing quite competitively. I really encourage you to give Genotype a try, as long as you can convince your friends that it's not as scary as it sounds. This is Legendary Tactics. <laughs>